after having the project location settings, um, the client details and the site details in place, we are now ready to start drafting the floor plan for our house. So we'll start, we'll start with the construction grid or rather the structural grid. And the grid is a documenting tool that is accessible under document, documenting tools. So here we have the grid element, so click on it to select it. When the grid element tool is uh, uh, selected, we'll go to the settings dialog for the grid element tool, which is going to display uh, the default uh, settings and we'll be, we'll be able to customize how these grids appear on floor plan, on section or, or elevation views the naming rules that will be followed when we start putting those grids in place, the size, the size shape and the shape of the markers, the text, the text style and the 3D view uh, settings. So we'll start with first uh, the floor plan view, which I'll have the solid line here changed to dashed long and I'll have the grid showing on all stories but for the pen sets i want to change this from pen number four to pen number 104 like that we'll have these buttons checked for displaying the marker at the start of the grid element and at the end of the grid element so that is it for floor plan we'll go to section we have the same settings or rather the same customizations for the section and elevation as we had for the floor plan. So we'll change this line to dashed long as earlier, and then the pen set to pen number uh, 104, like that. For the naming rules, I want these names to be generated automatically. So if we start with A, we'll have this as the naming style, A, B, C, D, E, F, as that. So if we have one here, we'll change this naming style to one, two, three, four, five, as that. So this is my, right now that is the, um, the, the, the style, the naming style that we have for the naming rules. So that's it. For the markers, we have options for changing the size of the marker. So right now the circle has a radius of 10 millimeters. So I want to change that to 6.5 millimeters. A marker pen is a pen number seven. The text pen is pen number one. I am okay with that. And the marker shape as circle. We have this arrow here, which if you click on it, is going to give you the various shapes that you can adopt for for the marker. So we have a circle, we have a square, we have a pentagon, we have an hexagon. That's done. Background fill is uh, off. Click on uh, text style and here you are able to change the font type which I am going to adopt DM Sans for my project. Uh, the pen, the text pen is going to be pen number one as set and then the font size is going to be 2.4 millimeters. That's for me, the settings. So let's let's go to 3D view uh, options. Under 3D view, you have oh, you have options for displaying this uh, construction grid in the 3D window. So if you want to that to be displayed, you'll have this uh, button checked like that, and the various uh, grid line settings for either the mark text and how you want the grid line to show so for me i don't want to display the grids in the 3d window so i'll uncheck this and proceed to clicking on ok and the settings for the customizations for the grid element tool will be saved in the project so control s is going to save the projects the project as at now then we'll begin now putting the various or rather the the grids in place so i'll click 
here like that pull the mouse towards the red, the direction where i want this grid line to extend to and then when i'm satisfied that the grid line has taken the length that i want i'll click on on that to specify the end then drag it to position here so i want to have similar to this i want to have eight more grid lines in place so what i'm going to do is while this is selected so shift and then click on it to select it right click and under move you have this option dragging multiple copies so what i will do is click on drag multiple copies and you will see my cursor they are displayed as an arrow with two plus signs so if i click on this grid line i'll be able to move as many copies as i want towards any direction that i specify so i want to have seven more copies of these uh, vertical grid lines so i'll have one two three four five six seven then when i'm done click on escape escape and they will be placed there so that's for the vertical grids let's look at the horizontal grid grid lines so i'll do the same thing as i had done with the vertical ones i'll specify the start by clicking on one point like that then moving the mouse and the cursor towards the direction where i want this grid line to extend to and when i'm satisfied that it has reached the exact length that i want uh, for the grid line so i'll click to specify the end point and that will have placed my very first grid line so i'll select this uh, right click move and then choose to drag multiple copies and i want eight more copies of this uh, horizontal grid so the same with what i did with the vertical ones so i'll have one two three four five six seven and the last one here eight I click on escape like that then you will have the horizontal and the vertical and the horizontal grids in place but if you look at let's say an example as with the vertical ones all of them are named a a a a i want them to have different names so that i can use them to make reference to the various locations in the floor plan so I, what i'll do is select that change that to b i'll be selecting each and changing the name so that's d that's f that's g and that's h the same with the same with the horizontal grids i'll change their names so i'll have this as number one this as two so follow the right the, the same procedure and change all the names so this is four five and finally the last one here is grid nine so those are my my horizontal and vertical grid lines so i want to, to customize now the the spacings or rather the distance between uh, these grid lines so i'll go to document i'll go to document here and then under documenting tools i'll choose to have the dimension tool selected and activated then i'll pick the various grids and dimension them so that i can be able to know the distance between each so when i have made sure that i have picked all the lines i'll double click and then click once to place the dimension line i'll do the same to the horizontal grids so pick all the grids the horizontal ones like that then double click and click once to place them so i want to change i want to set spacing between a and b 
as 1200 so let's say i select all these grids then i will have right click move drag so i'll drag all this by if this is 1200 the other one is supposed to be 1106 that becomes 12 the next one the spacing should be spacing there should be 600 so we have 23 96 minus 600 which gives us 1796 so i'll drag this control d and drag this by 1796 like that then between c and d should be 4000 which means i will have to extend this by some measurements so we'll have 4000 minus 2510 which gives me 1490 so control d and move this towards the uh, towards the right by 1490 so that's set in place d and e spacing between that is 750 so 2701 and 750 gives me 1951 so means we are going to move these ones by 1951 like that spacing between e and f is 1450 so we have 53 minus 1450 giving us 1403 so i'll move these towards e by 1403 units Spacing between F and G is 2400. So to achieve that means I'll have to move G to one's F by 415 units. And then spacing between G and H should be 1600. So that 385 minus 1600, that gives me 1785. So I'm supposed to move H to 1's G by 1785 units. So those, those are now the, the spacing that I'm supposed to have for the project. And that is for the vertical grids. So let's move to the horizontal grids and try and customize that. So I'll select, I'll select this. So I'll select these uh, various vertical horizontal grids that we have here by holding on the shift key on the keyboard and then clicking to select. So we start by customizing the spacing between grid 1 and grid 2 which is supposed to be 1200. Right now we have 1591. So 1591 minus 1200 is 391. So we are going to move these two ones number one by 391 units so we'll achieve 1200 there between two and three we have 3100 so that 100 minus 1785 that gives us 1315 so we are going to move three away from uh, two by 1315 so that we have so we are going to move a grid 3 away from 2 by 13 12 units so that we have 3100 there between 3 and 4 should be 600 right now we have 1636 which means we'll move this by 1036 1036 that gives us 600 4 and 5 is 2400 so 2400 minus 1750 that gives us 650 so we'll move 5 away from 4 by 650 units love 24 there let's go to spacing between 5 and 6 which is 1400 that means we'll move this by how many units uh, 1400 that's 540 we have 1400 there between 6 and 7 6 and 7 is 1300 so 2352 
minus 1300 gives us 1052. So we'll drag 7 towards 6 by 1052. We'll have the spacing there achieved for 1300. And the very last one here is, sorry, we have spacing between 5 and 6 as 14. 6 and 7 as 12, 6 and 7 as 12, which means we'll have this move as should be 12. So we'll have that moving up by 100. And then 2848, 2848 minus 1300, that gives you 1548. So Move by 15, 48, giving us 13, 14, 12, 13, like that. The very last one is 8 and 9, and the spacing there is 1500, so you have 34, 23, minus, minus 1500, giving us 1923. So Control D, move that up by 1923. So well, that's what you are supposed to have in your in your grid grids. So if you look at them, uh, we need to readjust these sizes. So I want to stretch this up to there. So stretch all these grids so that they get to appear in a a good presentation in a presentable manner, in a presentable way. Stretch them as like that click there stretch up to that so you have all that stretched this side we need to move anything you can have that left as that so let's select the vertical ones and readjust so i'll, uh, I'll stretch this up to that point and stretch all these other grid lines to move to the same size rather the same length so when i'm done with stretching the grid lines i'll select those dimension lines and delete them so i have control d move this up a bit so basically that's that's the grid lines or that is the grid system that we are uh, we were we were trying to create then from there we'll now start putting in place the external and internal walls for the project.